A Mexico company promises a new supercar. Volvo rethinks its wagon plans. And GM puts its cars on a diet. I'm Jake, dumping the clutch on a Tuesday edition of Auto Week TV. Here's what's making news in the car world. A company based in Mexico is promising to deliver a new supercar at this year's Goodwood Festival of Speed in July. The company is named Vool, and the car is named the Vool 05. The name stands for Vehicles of Ultra Lightweight and High Performance. Don't ask us where the L comes in, we haven't figured that out yet. Details are scarce, there's only a glimpse of the front end of the car on the company's website. In a press release, Vool says the car's body will be built in Canada, the handling was refined in the UK, and final assembly will take place in Mexico City. It names Ford and suppliers Magna International and Multimatic as development partners. Brothers Ecare and Guillermo Echeverria are named as the designers and founders of the project. Funding is said to come from private investors and the Mexico government. Volvo is reconsidering its decision to not bring the V60 wagon to the U.S. market. Our colleagues at Automotive News report that Volvo dealers would love to have the V60 in their showrooms. Why? After purging five models from the lineup, Volvo's U.S. dealers have only four models to sell, and one of them, the XC90, is nearly 10 years old. All four of those models are being spruced up for the 2014 model year and go on sale this summer. And finally for today, GM is putting its cars on a diet. With strict new fuel economy rules kicking in over the next decade, GM's cars and trucks need to lose weight to get better gas mileage. So GM CEO Dan Ackerson has ordered the engineering corps to get to work. One solution is to use more aluminum. The new Corvette Stingray and its aluminum frame are helping GM pioneer some new technology for spot welding the lightweight material. Expect to see more high strength steel and magnesium too. Also, look for more cars to get four-cylinder engines instead of V6s. Turbocharging will help make up for the power difference. That's the news for now. Keep up with all the latest car and racing news at AutoWeek.com and make sure to check out our video section. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.